Hey guys, this is going to be a quick guide to playing the guitar in Jam Maestro. I'm going to quickly run through the basics in case some of you have never used it before and then I'm going to show you a few more advanced features that you might not be aware of. So what we're looking at here is a virtual fretboard. We have the strings moving upwards and we have the different frets moving across. By a tune, you simply touch the relevant frets. Now we can scroll up and down the fretboard by holding down the scroll button here and swiping up and down with our other finger. And you'll notice the open fret stays visible as we do this. Now on the bottom row here, we have various chords we can play. At the moment we have one selected, which just means play single notes, but we can set this to play a chord by touching one of the various chord buttons here. For example, power chord, octave, or the major chord. We can also strum these by toggling the strum button here. Now if we press the plus button here, it takes us to the chord setup page. Here we can select from a standard library of pre-made chords. Or if we want, we can create our own custom chords. We do this by touching a custom chord and editing its properties over here. We can also specify the chord shape that is played depending on which string is touched. You can also specify to leave a string open using a dash or to mute a string using an X. You can touch here to name your chord and then drag it into the bottom bar to use it. When in strum mode, you can also use the draw chord function. Basically, you just drag your finger across the fretboard and it will hold that chord shape until you let go. To temporarily palm mute notes, you can simply hold down the chug button here. Or you can leave it toggled on by dragging down off the button like this. Now a new feature in version 2 is that you can now mute strings. To do this you can simply touch a blank area where there is no note, for example. This is particularly useful if you're strumming and you want to mute strings that you're not using. Some of you may be looking at the different colored notes here and you're thinking, what's that about? Well, the colors are to highlight important notes in your key. Red shows the root note of your key, and green and blue show the perfect fourth and the perfect fifth notes, respectively. You can see these are at the fourth and the fifth position in your scale up here. Not only do these notes resonate well with your root note, but they also are important notes when changing key. If you touch here and enter the key setup screen, you can see these same notes, C, F and G, sit next to each other in this circle over here. This circle is known as the circle of fifths, and it's handy because it shows which keys are related to each other by their adjacent position in the circle. Transitioning between related keys will give an interesting sound, without there being a harsh change that doesn't sound right. So looking at the fretboard, we can see there are some faded out notes with the same colours as the perfect fourth and fifth. 
These are notes that exist in the respective related keys that aren't in your current key. Therefore, if you play them, it assumes you've changed key and updates the notes on the fretboard accordingly. For example, when you play chords using the chord buttons, Jam Maestro will attempt to best match the chord shape whilst only using notes from your current or related keys. You can lock it out from using notes in the related key server by pressing the lock chords button here. This will ensure that it only uses notes from your current active key, which is useful if you're jamming with other instruments. You can also lock the fretboard from changing key altogether by pressing the lock key button here. Slide and bend are disabled by default, but you can simply turn them on by toggling the buttons here. Also a few different fret release modes you can use. Now fade is what we've been using so far, but there's also stop mode and sweep mode. Stop stops the notes as soon as you release your finger, and sweep basically rings out all the notes until a new note is played. Stop and sweep are probably most useful when playing bass. Now lastly, if you have a particular song you want to play and you don't want to be restricted to a key, you can just press the free play button and this will display all the notes. You can also toggle between the notes and the fret numbers by pressing here. Okay guys, I hope this has been helpful. If you have any questions, you can always email support at jammaestro.com or hit the support button on the Jam Maestro options page.